Total Lubricants USA Incorporated is the supplier of clean mold hot end lubricants and coatings to the worldwide glass container industry. We are dedicated to providing you with high quality products, service and value. Total Lubricants offers a full range of products for all applications, including hot and cold end lubricants and coatings. Everything the glass industry needs from the shears to the leers. In this presentation, we will demonstrate the method we recommend to apply our clean mold swabbing compounds. These recommendations are based on our years of experience and feedback from you, our users. We'd like to remind you of certain basic fundamental rules about swabbing and safety, which we know will benefit you and your operation by significantly improving productivity and making your job easier. Our goal is to help you get the maximum benefit, the best performance and the best value when using our products. So why do we have to swab? We swab to aid the forming process and to keep the machine running. If the machine setup was perfect and could be perfectly maintained, we probably wouldn't have to swab at all. But since it isn't, we swab to keep the machine running. What does swabbing do? Swabbing provides lubrication so that the glass can move around without distortion inside the blanks, rings and molds. Swabbing also provides release so that glass doesn't stick to the metal mold equipment. Swabbing regulates the transfer of heat by providing a thermal barrier between the glass and the metal. An 1150 degrees Celsius gob of glass is transformed into a 425 degrees Celsius bottle. And finally, swabbing helps to eliminate defects. While proper swabbing will eliminate defects, on the other hand, improper swabbing can sometimes cause them. That's why swabbing correctly is so important. Swabbing is the biggest variable in the bottle forming process because the product is applied by hand. Therefore, swabbing can have a significant positive or negative impact on productivity. The goal of this swabbing program is to demonstrate what we believe to be the best recommend swabbing application procedure. We believe our swabbing application procedures will assist you to maximize productivity and percent back. It will provide for the most efficient use of clean mold and it will assist you in achieving the best possible overall results. We cannot stress enough how important it is to swab the same from shift to shift because we believe that if you swab the same, you pack the same. We know a lot of people might be thinking, but I already know how to swab and there's nothing else I can learn about it. It's true that you all know how to swab and you can make bottles, but not everybody swabs correctly and not everybody swabs the same way. We believe that by swabbing the right way and the same way from shift to shift, you will significantly improve productivity and make your job easier. What are swabbing compounds and how do they work? Swabbing compounds are made from graphite, petroleum oil, sulfur, binders, surfactants, and suspending agents. The graphite does most of the work. The graphite is the solid film lubricant that gets deposited onto the surface of the mold equipment to provide lubrication and release. The petroleum oil is just a carrier that allows you to deposit the graphite. The petroleum oil burns off and has nothing to do with lubricating. The sulfur is added to help reduce checks, the binders stick the graphite to the mold. The surfactants provide wetting at high temperature because in order to have good adhesion, you need good wetting. And the suspending agents prevent the graphite from settling in the drum. In order to have consistent swabbing, you need to have a consistent product. We want you to keep the neat product cool, out of the sun, and store below 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius for extended periods of time. Don't mix different products together, don't heat the product, and don't dilute the product. In order for you to have consistent swabbing, you need a consistent product. When putting the graphite on the mold equipment, you control where it goes and where it doesn't go. Swabbing is an art, and you, the operator, know where to swab and how to swab. But having said this, there are certain basic fundamental rules about swabbing that we think can benefit everybody. Let's talk about the swab. How do you prepare the swab? 
You can prepare it by soaking the swab with a little light oil and working it in. Once the swab is wet with oil, the lubricant will penetrate the fibers faster. Swab should be 100% cotton, the wire tip should be carefully protected, and you should trim the swab to fit the job. We say the proper swab size should be about 1.5 times the diameter of the blank at the loading line. We recommend one swab for every five or six sections, so if you have a 10 or 12 section machine, you should use at least two swabs. This eliminates having to reload the swab during the swab cycle. And remember, if the clean load is too hot to touch, it's too hot to use. A swab bucket can get really dirty. The dirt in the swab bucket gets onto the swab, transfers into the blank, and this contamination can cause bottle defects. We recommend using a swab station. It provides advantages such as a mechanism to dry the swab, a place to hang your swab, and it helps reduce waste of product. A swab station is able to hold two products, one for the blanks and one for the rings. The swab station has a removable tray for easy cleanup. It's important to clean the swab tray at least once a day or when needed. Let's discuss our recommended swabbing application procedure. We recommend that you hold the swab parallel to the blank or mold cavity and that you swab in a downward direction. This is very important. A lot of people think you have to rub the mold or push against it hard. On the contrary, we recommend you swab in a downward direction using a light touch. Swab carefully and accurately. Take your time and rotate the swabbing cycle to start on a different section each time. This will even out the distribution of graphite over the blank and mold cavities. Load the swab after the swab cycle when the swab is warm so that the graphite will easily penetrate into the swab. Hang the swab up when you're done so the swabbing compound remains evenly distributed on the swab and the excess can drain off. Each time you swab, you put a layer of graphite on the mold. In a period of 15 to 30 minutes, depending on machine speed, machine alignment, and the weight of the bottle, the molten glass wears away the coating. When you swab, you apply a uniform even layer of graphite onto the blank or mold cavity. If you use a swab that's too wet, the graphite will not stick and could cause dirty bottles, orange peel, and defects. That's why we emphasize a dry swab more often is better than a wet swab less often. Since we already talked about swabbing in general, we want to discuss in more detail how to swab the rings, blanks, and molds. The rings are swabbed for both lubrication and release. We recommend bending the swab so the metal doesn't hit the rings. Be careful that you don't drag the swab across the rings. Dragging the swabs across can cause the oil and graphite to get squeezed out of the swab and run down onto the plunger. Swab the rings by touching the top surface of the ring with a dry swab and a light touch. Swab the rings before the blanks. When lubricant splashes up from the rings onto the blanks, it can cause hot spots that can lead to defects. Swabbing the rings before the blanks will clean off any splash from the ring dope. You swab the blanks mostly for lubrication and also for release. Swabbing the blank facilitates gob loading. The graphite coating allows the gob to easily slide down into the cavity. In the blow and blow process, we recommend you swab from the load line down. If you swab too high, you get light bottoms and poor loading. In the press and blow process, we recommend you swab from the funnel to the restriction. For the narrow neck press and blow process, we also recommend to swab from the funnel to the restriction. If you swab too far down, it affects the run of the parison and may cause blowouts or machine jam-ups. And finally, you swab the molds mostly for release and a little bit for lubrication. We recommend swabbing the tops, shoulders, engravings, and the bottom plates. Remember to always use a dry swab. For molds with engravings and for situations where you need very clean wear, products without graphite are available which may help your production. The benefits of correct swabbing are increased productivity and percent pack, reduce the number of defects, and extend the life of the mold equipment. This makes your job easier. Communication is very important as well. 
it's vital that you communicate with your replacement. The goal is to maintain swabbing consistency from shift to shift. If everybody swabs the same, you will maintain a constant blank temperature, constant loading, and uniform glass distribution. If operators swab differently, this can cause a thermal or mechanical disruption in the blank. This could lead to increased defects and reduced percent pack. It could take a long time for the thermal and mechanical disruption in the blank to get corrected. Swab the same, pack the same. Safety is everybody's concern. In addition to following plant safety regulations, we always recommend wearing safety glasses, earplugs, and protective clothing. Don't let your mind wander. Think about what you're doing. Never turn your back on the machine and use the safety features built into your machine. In conclusion, machinery has replaced manual labor at every level except in mold lubrication. That's why Total Lubricants USA developed these swabbing application procedures. Based on ideas from operators throughout the world, it is designed to help you do the best job you can in blending science and the art of glassmaking. Thanks for taking the time to attend this presentation.